What causes noises in your head? Well, it's called tinnitus or ringing in the ears. In this video, I'm going to talk all about it. Coming up. Hi, I'm Dr. Derek, audiologist with ProfitHearing.com, bringing you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Welcome to Question of the Day Friday, where I answer your hearing, healthcare, and audio technology question. Do you have noises in your head? Today, I'm talking about seven possible causes. Noise, buzzing, ringing in the ears, however you describe it, is called tinnitus. It's only a sound that you are hearing. It's not a sound that's naturally occurring in your environment. It may come or go, or be a constant sound that you hear. Tinnitus can occur in one ear or both ears. It may also sound like it's in your head. It's often more noticeable in quiet places. First, if you have tinnitus, make sure to ask your physician about it, and then have a hearing evaluation by your local audiologist. Once a cause for the tinnitus is identified, your provider can make recommendations on how to best treat it. Okay, so here's some possible causes for noise or tinnitus that you hear. Sensory neural hearing loss. Sensory neural hearing loss is permanent damage to the hair cells inside the ear. This damage can cause tinnitus with people who have mild or greater sensory neural hearing loss. You may even experience tinnitus when your hearing test results are in a normal range. For adults, normal hearing test results are anywhere from negative 10 to 25 decibels. That's a wide range of normal. And if your hearing did get worse, but is still considered normal range, it's possible that you could still have tinnitus. Noise exposure. Excessive noise can cause sensory neural hearing loss over time. You may even notice that your ears ring after a loud concert. If so, you want to make sure to avoid loud sound or wear hearing protection like earplugs or ear muffs. Your ears may ring right after a loud concert and then recover. However, if you have repeated exposure to loud sounds, you might notice that tinnitus returns and doesn't go away. Otosclerosis. This is an abnormal bone growth in the middle ear that causes conductive hearing loss. This restricts how sound transmits through the ear so your tinnitus may be more noticeable. Eustachian tube dysfunction, ear infection, or fluid in the ear. The eustachian tube regulates the air pressure inside the middle ear. If this tube does not open and close normally, or if there's any other disruptions to the middle ear, like ear infection or fluid, this can negatively impact your hearing, and you may notice tinnitus. An ear, nose, and throat doctor can treat this condition. Ototoxic medication. Any medication that's ototoxic means that it's toxic to the inner ear. This may cause sensory neural hearing loss and tinnitus. Make sure to ask your physician if you experience any tinnitus or hearing changes after taking medication. Muscle spasms in the middle ear. The middle ear is where the eardrum and ear bones are located. So any changes in the function of the middle ear can contribute to the sensation of tinnitus. TMJ. Temporomandibular Joint Disorder. TMJ can cause pain in the joint connecting the jaw and skull. It can also be related to tinnitus. Consult with your physician or dentist for more guidance on this condition. Remember, if you have noises in your head or ears, go see a physician to rule out any medical cause. An audiologist can evaluate your hearing and determine if hearing loss exists. Your provider can assist you in treatment of the symptoms that you experience. So for today's question, do any of these possible causes of noises in your head surprise you? If so, which one? I'd love to know your thoughts, so please comment below. Do you have a question that you'd like answered on Question of the Day Friday? Let's connect in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you receive value from this video, please like it, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Remember to check out the notes in the description below for more information and to connect with ProFit Hearing on social media. Be a part of the ProFit Hearing community. If you're interested in hearing aids, click on the link in the description below for my free ebook, How to Buy Hearing Aids. Know what to ask your audiologist or hearing aid dispenser so that your hearing aids are easy to use and have all the features you're looking for.
Remember, ProFit Hearing brings you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.